this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43, and today we're going to be doing a one weight workout. So for this workout, you're going to need a mat, um, one weight, and some water. So you might get a heavy weight and then a smaller weight, just in case you need to change weights out and you want to just have that available to you. Okay, we'll start in a minute. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready for our one weight workout. Um, I'm using royalty free music. Um, we'll see how that goes. So for a little warm up here. Okay, let's just squat, start to squat. One more, okay, we're gonna take it out to a lunge, so. Up. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Okay, now have your legs nice and wide. We're gonna go back and forth. Okay, we're gonna walk ourselves back up. We're gonna rotate. to coordinate your outfit because you like cleansing back <laughs> And let's go to the front lunge. Okay, from here we're just going to toe tap to the side. Okay, we're going to walk ourselves back up. Alrighty, so having water handy, we're going to do two workouts. Both of them are 16 minutes long. So, two, too bad, right? Okay. Don't take the music. You just never know what you're going to get. It's a little jazzier. But then it'll change in like 30 seconds. Let's see if I keep track of what we're doing. So we're just going to start with the halo 
to press up instead of bringing it down around our um, hips. In a second. push-ups, two rows, and keep going up until our 45 seconds is up. So one push-up, and then one row, okay? And you can get on your knees to do your push-up, come up into your plank to do your row. Oh, two. <laughs> and then three. all over again. So those are our four exercises. Change 
push your feet away from you a little bit so they're not tucked right underneath you. Okay, here we go, up and down. Squeeze that tush. Hold it up there for just a second. Get that nice squeeze in there. Give that arm a chance to fully extend. And then we're just gonna roll over and do mountain climbers after this one. Okay. Mount climbers on and off your weight. that two more times through. Off your weight. Okay, 
go. that weight to the opposite side, the first side we started on. Let's do our stack and push ups and rows. Almost there. Okay. Almost did it. Okay, last round. Last one. 
Burpee, have your hands off to the side, but then you're gonna we're gonna pick up the weight, do an overhead press, and then take it back down, and then you can just move your hands back off of it. Okay, so either way, um, and then we're gonna do uh, oh, then we're gonna get down on the floor, and we're gonna do a nice little ab one it's behind your head, and your knee comes up, same side, it's a fun one, and then the next one is a front lunge with a hop out, so we're gonna front lunge. And then we're going to hop out and bring our arm out to this L, front lunge L. So that's a lot on this arm, so just because especially if you have an 8 to 10 pound weight. Then, and then we're going to do side, side lunges, that's rocking lunges. We're going to do those. All right. We're going to start that burpee. No, because the weight's right in front of you. So, you know, if you, if you do the weight right in front of you, then you're just going to pick that weight up and bring it over your head. Or you can try to do the burpee on the weight, and that way it's already in your hands. You just have to make sure that you're steady and the weight's steady so you don't smush your fingers and you don't roll your wrists on it. Because that'll push you, push you out of commission doing that. So when you do that overhead press, really make sure you get it up there. You get that little arc in your upper back, mid-back area. All right, so on the floor. So say put it in your right arm. Put your left, your right leg up. Your knee is up. So we're going to tap back and then bring it up. Okay, here we go. So tap back, bring it up. So arm goes back, leg goes straight, and then we just bring them both up. Okay, that was good. Okay, so we're 
we're gonna do our side lunge. So nice wide legs. So we're gonna put it in one, and let's say, I'll put it, no, I'm gonna put it in this hand. Go over to the left leg first, one hand, bring it up, and go down with two. One arm, up, two arms. One arm, up, two arms, good. Change arms, change legs. Knees up, arms up. Okay, let's take them out. So inhale on the way out, exhale on the way up. Almost there. Where? <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, rocking lunges. I'm ready to start all over again. So switch arm, so straight arm, and then two arms. When it comes to that arm that's on your side, that's wide legs. One, two. Two more rounds, that's all it is.
Focus with that overhead press. Here we go. double arm. So the wider your legs are, the more you're going to feel it in that inner thigh. Really think about sticking the tush out when you go down. That's it. Rotate that body, stick out that tush. Try and get it from every angle. Slow it down if you want to, so you can really get into that lunge. Okay. And, oh, that was it. So we're gonna start from the beginning. This should be the last time, right? This is it. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> Only four minutes. <sighs> Almost dropped it. I know, we need to pep that music up, don't we? Here we go. 
go. Back, and then up. I was not ready. Really stretch that leg out. Find that comfortable position for that arm. So if you're using your weaker arm and say it's hurting your shoulder, go ahead and just take the weight with both hands and go back with both hands. Just hold it from end to end. Alrighty. So it's not very long. It's only like a minute and a half. Okay. So we're going to put the weight behind our head. We're going to bring up both legs. I can get it to go. Oh my gosh, what didn't I do? Okay. Now, okay, I'll just try to hear it over here. Okay, so up and down we go. We're going for 20 seconds. There's going to be no break. Right arm, left leg, sorry. Okay, left arm, right leg. Just go, keep going.
Okay, weight is up, legs are up. You're gonna hop your high knee from side to side, doing a little twist. One knee. Okay, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna drop the hip. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn around to the other side. Not yet. Okay, now. <laughs> Switch, quick. Drop both, raise both. On that tush. Okay, so right, right leg, ooh, it's gonna come up, and you're gonna come up and bring it underneath you. So tap, and then roll underneath. Tap, and then roll underneath. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. So tap, roll underneath. Tap, roll underneath. Roll underneath. Tap. Okay. Put the weight at the end. Okay. On your hands. We're just gonna go side to side. And that's it. Okay, now we stretch. I know. So it's, like, it's like, wow, that's just not fair. But after you work out, you do need a high protein breakfast to feed those muscles. A little bit of carbs go with it because those two go hand in hand when you're doing that building block of building muscles. And as we age, it gets, you know, we start losing muscle by anywhere from one to three percent a year so you gotta fight it and exercise alone won't do it you have to eat enough protein minimum 90 grams a day a day of protein but you know protein's in a lot of things proteins in vegetables um not so much in fruit but vegetables of course all different forms of meat um even in some grains but depending on how you, you know, like to eat or whatever. Okay, let's bring ourselves out. Big inhale, exhale, come forward, straight back. <laughs> so, no, wait, if you, if you wrap that donut in bacon, it'd be okay. Yeah, nuts, nuts is another one, nuts and seeds. Yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt's good, and then it has a bunch of other really good cultures and things for it with your belly. You know, it's really the only thing that's bad, bad for you is just plain sugar, you know. And it's not just bad for your waistline, it's bad for your brain, it's bad for your joints, it's bad for uh, muscle production. So you just got to think about those things when you're, when you're eating, read the labels on things that supposedly say they're good for you, taste sides. If, if they're... Yeah, if you can't pronounce it, it's probably not good for you. And if it's over 26 carbs, then it's just got way too much sugar in it, you know? You can overdo anything, even fruit. You can overdo fruit, you know? Because a grape alone is like a teaspoon of sugar. 
it's a racer. Yummy, but when you're young, you can do that. When you're older, it starts catching up with you, you know. So, okay, side to side real quick. <laughs> dynamic stretching. Drink lots and lots of water to fuel those muscles, to help keep them from getting sore. -er. Hopefully you get a little sore. Oh, I've been sore. <laughs> Adding this third workout. Okay, <laughs> come in. Come it all the way up again. Okay, we're gonna put our fingers just behind us and we'll lift our chest. Get that chest. And then we're gonna put the hands in front, round your back, pull the belly button in, tuck in your chin a little bit, but not too tight. Breathe real high in the top of your back. Okay, feel it expand in the next exhale. One more. And then slowly bring your chin back up. Shake it out and we're all done.